Kelly, you're up. Let's go ahead and take a look at your work. I've got a poster open here in this, this separate window. I just want to, let's go ahead and resize this so we can fit it in the window and let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, uh, Gabrielle Lippmann, Life in Color. I love that tagline. Love it. Life in Color. That is tight, man. That's That really is a, that's a hook. That's what we call a hook in graphic design. And that's something, whether it be a phrase, some sort of typographic technique, some sort of illustrative technique, a hook is something where the viewer goes, oh, wow, I'm, I'm, it's something that pulls them in and says, okay, I'm really interested in seeing more here. So that's awesome. Love it. Um, Gabrielle Lippmann, nice typeface. Good choice. Uh, good kerning. Good kerning, both in the headline and the, the uh, tagline. I would recommend maybe introducing a, sand, a, a serif typeface for the tagline, um, just to add some typographic variety. Now, one of the issues that we're having here is that you've placed this image here, and that's problematic in two different ways. Number one, it seems to be a placed image. In other words, I, I, it's not an illustration that you created. Okay, so that points to originality, and this piece is not 100% original if you're using components um, that found components. So my recommendation is to keep your work 100% uh, original by using only um, uh, original work. So you would have to duplicate this illustration. But I don't recommend this. As a matter of fact, that this is not permitted because it's you're creating meaning here using a photograph. And the only photography allowed in this piece is the uh, image of the laureate on the back of the poster, okay? There's no illustrative techniques that really should be permitted in this assignment because we're trying to create meaning typographically, okay? So just replacing this with lines and illustrating it, it won't work either because, again, you're creating meaning illustratively as opposed to typographically. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll touch on that in a second further, but I just also, I, before I forget, you've got a white stroke on your letter forms up here, and I do not recommend doing that. As a matter of fact, I think that was one of the 18 rules. Um, don't stroke your letter forms. The reason we don't stroke letter forms is because it doesn't matter if the stroke is placed on the outside of the contour lines, on the inside, or straddling the contour lines. The letter forms, are, the shape changes. We can see it clearly in the open and closed counters on this lowercase a. Um, so that for that reason, it is it, it's a considered an industry standard best practice not to stroke type uh, letter forms. Stroke just means the outline. So I would, do not recommend that white outline on the letter forms. Um, so back to the, the, the creating meaning. So what we want to do is we want to create meaning typographically, purely typographically. Now, is the gradient enough? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you want to somehow create meaning based on um, type of typography. So now if you go over to the course announcements, you'll see a bunch of examples where, especially in that, that announcement where I deconstruct the examples um, and show how the designer incorporated meaning into the typography as opposed to just presenting an image or a, an illustration. And, and I want you to concentrate on that. And that's what I want you to work on uh, for Sunday's assignment. I want you to work, I should say, moving forward in the project, I want you to concentrate on creating meaning typographically and let's forget about any kind of added illustration or added um, uh, photography or illustration. Okay. Um, okay. So let me know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very interested that you're, oh, you know, by the way, this should be aligned with something. If I take my straight edge here, let's go take that L. Yeah, you can see that L is, is, is on. If you pull it over just a little bit, it will align with the N. But it's, in, in graphic design, everything should align with something. Okay, so keep that in mind. It'll, it'll increase harmony. Okay, so that's your task. I'm not real sure how you're going to approach this. If you have any questions, let me know. If you, if you, if you want some suggestions, I can probably help in that regard too. But I, my recommendation definitely is to reconsider the meaning you're creating and try to create meaning solely on typography or illustration in conjunction with the typography, but no standalone images or no standalone illustrations. Okay, hope that makes sense. If not, let me know. I'll be glad to clarify. Thank you very much.